Hey guys, welcome back to the Road to Supersonic Legends series. We're back with another episode. We're on episode number 19. Hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas holidays if that's what you celebrate. Uh, and if you haven't seen the videos in the last couple days, no worries. They're still there for you. I got a couple couple fun ones, a little bit of Rocket League, but it's trash. And a Christmas holiday special. So definitely check out those ones if you haven't yet already. But we're jumping into the next episode. We are Ferret G today with two T's, of course, uh, you know, as homage to uh, Garrett. Um, we got Garrett G's face on a, on a ferret. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really get any crazier than that. Thank you to Gainer uh, for this recommendation. It's not the real Gainer, by the way. I did check it. Um, but we're going to jump into the next episode. We got the last four matches of our unranked playlist uh, in 2v2 here. So we're going to jump into the last four games and see where we end off at the end of the episode. Well, let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Now, I feel like my first tip of the day isn't gonna, really going to apply to anybody yet because uh, obviously the season's been going on for quite a while and we're still in the placements of this, uh, this series. But um, when you're doing placements, make sure you're confident. I know that that's a big problem with uh, placements that really scares people since it's like you never really know who you're going to be playing up against. Um, what's nice about Baki's mod, though, is that uh, on, on Steam you can see the actual MMR number of... Uh... Is this guy going for demos? Okay, I thought he was going to go for another demo. But right here, I'm gonna go for a challenge. Uh, just my teammates behind me. A good challenge from Leroy Jenkins. Oh, that's a that's a meme I haven't heard in a while. Um, but the MMR really helps to know what kind of players you're up against. As you can see, we're kind of in the same ballpark, which I, I believe was around platinum two three. It's a good try, good shot, bit of miss, almost. Pop this off backboard if I can. And a great finish, nice one. Leroy Jenkins. I feel like this is like gonna go over a lot of your heads. <laughs> Maybe not. It's a really old uh, World of Warcraft meme. But yeah, that's a that's a good throwback for me. You know, being 25, I'm a little I'm a little old in this Rocket League scene. I would say. I mean, not as old as John Sandman. He's ancient, but we got a we got a pretty good match on our hands here. The opponents seem to have really good uh, rotations, and the opponents are causing some good pressure. Pop it down the field. Awkward ball in the corners. Pop it off the corner again. I'm going to be alone here because my teammate had to respawn. Let me sure I keep it off the corner. This guy's playing pretty well here, though. Stay with the ball. With those, like, um, to start off, you can just do what I did with, like, a front flip. Um, but as you get better, you can start to air roll. Wait for Right here, I want to wait for the opponent. And then wait for the ball to spill it to me. Almost an own goal there. Wait for Leroy Jenkins to pop off the middle. This is not good enough for me to go in on this, so I don't really want to commit. And that pass middle's like decent, but I don't want to commit yet. I want to make sure I back off and get in a better position. Let my teammate come behind me first. And then we can push up. Right here, I see the opponent kind of push backwards. So I'm going to pop it middle. Good try. Both players miss. Oh, this could be good. Almost. Leroy, once again, see how Leroy Jenkins, like, he went on that, that ball there to try and, uh, commit. Um, that doesn't really, like, do much because it's in the corner. He's saying sorry a lot. This guy's very apologetic. So right there, I can see that he's got a possession on the ball, so I don't really want to get close to the ball until I, uh, let him make that touch. This guy's got pretty decent reads on the backboard, but it's close. I don't want to stay with it, and then I'll flick it to the side. Maybe my teammate can go for it. Nice. There we go. This guy's positioning really well for passes. I can tell that he's going to be ready for them. So that's why I'm making a simple touch here. Really slow it down. Um, if you come in with pace, just make sure to hit the break at the last second. And that way you can control the ball. Uh, you don't want to hit the ball too hard off the backboard. And then it's going to be hard to read. The harder you hit it, um, obviously the harder it is for the opponent to read. But it's also harder for you to read. And you have control of the ball. So you have the advantage. This could be dangerous. Good shot. Good finish. Let's say nice shot there. A um, bit of a bad spill out from me on this this challenge. What here, what I could have done differently here is actually not challenge that. Obviously, at a higher rank, uh, Leroy Jenkins would have like pushed up and tried to make a challenge there, but uh, still on me in this rank to not bump that out um, because you can't expect someone to react that quickly at this rank. People are still learning the mechanics um, of the game and and getting used to the positioning and stuff. This could be a shot here though. Great save. So both players committed. But they still have possession on this ball. I need to wait, sh wait before my teammate gets behind me. And then this is where I make a challenge. And here I'll pop it around them. So I can just put it to the, push it to the wall before. That's what I talked about in the last episode too when I was playing a Shroud. Uh, where, you know, sometimes you want to put the ball around the opponent's 
uh, because they're blocking the direct route on target or route, however you want to say it. Once again, early challenge for my teammate puts us in a bit of a weird situation, but that's a good pop, and that should be defend. You know what? <laughs> Why do I even try to like predict in this rank? I always say stuff like that and then I just like catch myself off guard. It's a good try. A really good try by uh, Wrecked Boy there. It was a good good attempt on the aerial. Um, he definitely jumped a little bit earlier than he had to. The longer you wait uh, to aerial, the more you know accurate you can be. Accurate. You can be a lot more accurate with, uh, with your aerials when you do a proper takeoff. So once again, Leroy Jenkins committing in the corner. I... I have no idea what just happened there. <laughs> right here, I can make a challenge on the corner. Let's grab the boost and move out. My teammate's super far back, so he could have been up here making this challenge a little earlier. But it works out anyway. So, Rec Boy has all the boosts. Just want to make sure I don't challenge too early. That's fine if he makes that challenge. Okay. So, right here, it's going to it's gonna roll around the, the, the goal. So, what I can do is make a touch and then bring it around the wall. There we go, make a good challenge. Get this mid boost before anybody else can. Make a pop. That's actually pretty good. My teammate might be able to go for it. Good challenge by Fire Knight there. Once again, these corner touches. That's my biggest problem I've seen of this my teammate here is that he makes these corner touches he doesn't have to. Just making him do something. It's a good challenge for my teammate once again. And once again, these corner challenges just end up giving the ball to them and spilling it out. So make sure you're not just popping it in those corners too often. I think my teammate could have stolen that boost too, but Wrecked Boy didn't even grab it. Good challenge. Wrecked Boy will have this first. Pop off the corner and wait because Wrecked Boy might have this. This is obviously something I should go for earlier, but I'm just going to let them go for it because it's a little bit of a difficult read, but you want to jump off those before the backboard. And this should be Leroy's ball here. Great finish. Getting carried by Leroy Jenkins. You gotta love it. So that was, a, that was a good game so far. I don't know if it's gonna be a forfeit in the last 10 seconds, but uh, my teammate played pretty, pretty well. I would say the biggest thing for me, what I noticed from him, is that his corner touches were just not uh, hard enough to pop it out far, far enough out of the wall to get to me. Oh, what a beautiful picture that is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's over to the next game. We're actually at Platinum 3. All the teammates are Platinum 3 now, so that's really good. All the opponents, I mean. So we're looking like a, a really good... A solid rank up here, maybe even getting into diamond at the end of this episode, but I doubt, I, I doubt it. We'll see if they, we'll see after the four games. So I mean, since I'm like an ex RLCS pro and I'm in like the top ten of Rocket League ranked, um, obviously this is going to be a different pace for me than it is for you guys. But I'm trying to spread out the episodes at a pace where you can kind of follow along and get used to uh, some of the stuff I've been talking about, and then kind of apply it before the next episode happens. So hope you guys are enjoying the pacing of the the. Uh, the episodes good save there from Hayden um, right there I just made a little bit of a control on the dribble uh, but let me know what you guys think of the pacing of the episodes like, I'm trying to do like every you know three to four days maybe even two sometimes um, you know just to give some space between and obviously I have all the crazy custom content as well and uh, a couple a couple projects under my sleeve that I don't, I don't want to talk about yet because I want to give it away but lots of stuff going on all the time nice little flick Make another challenge here since I threw the ball away with that early flick and then grab the boost. It's a really good challenge. Bit of a miss and maybe Page. I don't know if it's Pagecko or Page Echo, maybe. But here I can turn. See that the opponent was kind of um you know in a position where um he's not really they're not really able to make a good touch. Get 50-50. Just waiting for them to make a challenge. Make sure they commit. I knew I had possession on the ball since it was rolling towards me. So this should be possession for me. Off backwards. See if my teammate can come in. He's a bit scared to challenge, which is fine. He's just waiting in mid. See if I can get a shot towards target here. Just pop off the backboard. Good bump from the opponent. Pop over one. Oh, nice try. So I just tried to pop it over that player, and then he ended up missing the uh, the first touch. Um, but a good backflip of my teammate pops it close. And uh, what should have happened there is I think uh, Kin, Zykin maybe, could have went behind and then made a, a play afterwards. I just uh, rushed the, the first flip. Everyone's going for it. <laughs> pop 
hop it around. Maybe my teammate... Yeah, my teammate's going to go back for boost. That's fine. So because my teammate's going for back corner boost, I'm going to grab a few pads. Right here, obviously, that's a pretty difficult read. But what I do is just wait for the ball to come to me. The further back you are, the easier it is to read. More time between you and the ball. Stay with this. Pop it off the backboard, maybe. Just roll it up. They got a good defensive touch there to bring it around the corner. So high ball here. I could go for this. I will go for it, even though my teammate went as well. So this is probably going to be a goal for them. And it is. Um, so there, I probably could, just as second man, um, realize that at this rank, maybe my teammates won't leave. <laughs> so me going there is pretty bad. Um, but I definitely have the better touch. Because if they wait on the floor um, for the pass, since they have low boost, they could just make a shot. But you see that my teammate jumped and then wasn't able to make the ball. So it didn't work out, but that's okay. A little bit of a yawn there. Sorry, guys. You know, lack of sleep during these holiday seasons. It's always rough. But a great finish there. Great uh, chip around the ball. This is what I was talking about in the early episodes, too. Is that to get these shots on target, you want to make sure you take the time to loop wide. You can see Paige gets that one boost pad that gets, gets the, uh, the pacing on the ball to get around the uh, edge of it to score. So, really good play there. 50-50. Right here, I'm going to wait for the, the player to try and commit. Like this, and then pop off backboard, maybe. Once again, that's pretty close to the opponents, so we got to be careful. Pop this off the, floor, the backboard here. So both players are really close to the ball. So what I'll do is just pass the middle here. So I loop, I slow down my, my car to get around the ball. And then make a challenge around the players of a bump that's okay good first touch but it's a little bit too far ends up giving the ball away so now we can just wait for the throw away which they do uh there they probably want to hold on to the possession make a little fake there <laughs> just just kind of driving you the ball once again just forcing those 50 50s if they end up coming into the ball and making a challenge good pressure by the opponents there to make sure we don't have a free shot on target Make sure I pop it off the wall. It's still a possession, so be a little bit careful. Nice little touch there, too. So just try to stay with the ball. Make sure my possession's uh, tight on the ball on each touch. Paydeco committed pretty hard there, but I can just wait behind. Make a challenge. Hayden's there again. So now I'm going to loop wide. My teammate's in the corner, though. So it's a little bit dangerous. Let them try to take control. I like it. Once again, forcing for that 50-50, you can see how useful that is. I see my teammate wants to go for it, so they're making a challenge towards net. And now I can just wait behind. A little bit silly for me to go for. As you can see, they're going to beat me on the wall every time. Aerials are definitely slower than wall play. If you go up the wall, you're going to beat somebody. Because you can drive up the wall faster than you can aerial. Because when you're on the wall, you don't really fight gravity that much. Uh, because of the way that the cars grip the, the ball. Or the wall, I mean. You can see here, like, when you're on the wall, you don't really fall down the floor, fall onto the ground that fast. But when you're jumping like this and falling, you uh, you start to accelerate a lot faster to the ground. Should be okay. My teammate didn't really trust me at all, which is fine. We're uh, only one goal up here, so we got to be a little careful with 17 seconds. So I don't really want to commit in the corner. Now I can commit, commit in mid here and then let my teammate go for the aerial. Close. Still got a possession here. It's a good flick. Good save from our teammate. So there I'm just trying to bait in the flick. And then my teammate's able to get the defensive touch. But that was really good for my teammate to hold out the uh, the last touch there. We get the win. <laughs> still makes still makes me laugh when I see that photo. Oh my goodness. We got the uh, my previous teammate on the other team now. So that's that's interesting. I've never seen that before in this, uh, this series, I don't think. We had somebody, I think someone daddy or something in the last couple episodes where they were on my team twice. But never uh, my teammate on the opponent's side, which is interesting. Um, since like, I would imagine at this rank, there's a lot of players. Good chip towards the net. Good save by JDAC though. I'll sit in mid. Bit of a miss for my teammate. Pass it down. I know that I say a bit of a, a lot. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'll I was just gonna leave that boost for my teammate, but he ended up looping wide. So I'm just gonna pass this middle. Good touch. But right here I wanna fake this, make sure I'm waiting behind. Good demo from uh, the opponent, but Hopefully this isn't too dangerous. Good clear. 
Right here, I see my teammate getting the mid boost on that side. So I'm going to go for the mid boost on here and then wait across. Great pass. That was a really good pass. Obviously, it was a really, really, uh, really good uh, aerial there. But at the same time, like he just jumped up and then I just went for a, a quick touch off that, that backboard read. Just uh, letting my teammate know that I can receive passes. So hopefully that reinforces good play um, throughout the rest of these uh, these games here. Really hard touch off the backboard. Once again, that gives it the to my opponent. But he also throws the ball away, so I'm just going to stay with it. Bad read in mid, but he's got to the opponent, so he has to recover a little more poorly. Make a touch and then maybe go for mid here. Actually, it works out. Bad touch for me ends up popping towards uh, my teammate. He's going for that air dribble. Go for that backboard. Teammate's going for the aerial. Nice try. Here, the ball's rolling out or spilling out in a spot where I can actually, you know, reliably go for that challenge without thinking it's too risky. Right here, it's a bit scary to go for, but a bit of a miss. Stay with the ball. Past this middle. Teammate's behind me, so I'm just going to chase it down. Let's see what uh, Page Echo's got. Big boom. Good challenge in middle. Let's see what Andrus has got. Just going to wait in mid again, once again. Uh, just waiting for these, these passing plays. They throw it to the wall here, which gives me space to stay with the ball. Make a challenge in the corner. It's a bit dangerous, but teammate makes a good challenge. I see that he throws away um, that ball, so I can just immediately challenge. And then uh, I think it was JDEC also throws the ball away now. So now Andrews has space. Bit of a miss as well. A lot of misses, but it's faster pace than we're used to. We're getting near diamond. And I'm dead. Obviously, we know that uh, Page Echo is not diamond since they were plat 3 last game. But uh, it is getting faster pace. And, and the Page Echo guy that was on my team is actually really, really good. You can see that it... Um, oh! I thought that maybe that was going to be a, a touch from JDEC. He did say my fault, though. It was a nice little flick. It wasn't too high. It wasn't too powerful. Just enough that it was over the opponent. It's a high touch here. It's pretty dangerous. It might just roll in. I'm not going to touch this if it goes in. It's a good play. Obviously, I could save that. The uh, The opponent did not aerial fast enough to make a shot where I couldn't jump up for that. Right here, I could just jump up for it and make a shot. But obviously, in Platinum, Platinum 3... That's pretty difficult to read. I would imagine anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm so fa like far away from reality with 11,000 hours in the game. That's hard for me to know what is exactly possible. And so I apologize if I'm doing too much or too little at certain ranks. Could be a shot. Oh my goodness, that worked out so well. Teammate like kind of backflipped it and then it popped off the back of their wheels. <laughs> what the heck was that? Never in the history of Rock League have I seen that. Just like someone backflipping and it just like spills out like that. It's like a, a reverse musty. Pretty dangerous for me to challenge. Waiting for the bump first. And the other player was ready for that before before me. So I just waited. Let's see if uh, Andrus has a touch. Pops it across but um, does give it to the opponent. And now they miss. So now my teammate can come in and make a, a, a challenge. That bump will... Slow down the attack, but with their possession, I'm going to wait from behind. Good challenge. Now I can come into the middle. I don't want to go for that boost because I want to focus on the ball here to get the, the clear. I bumped the one player, but Andres is lo left alone here. Pretty spooky. Good try on the uh, the save there. So if you grab that boost and immediately boost it back to mid a little bit faster, um, he could have made it back. And honestly, he didn't need to go for the back corner boost. Probably could have saved his boost that he used to go to it. And uh, made the defensive touch. Both are good options. Either faster pacing. Or, uh, or you know, don't go for that that corner boost. It's not really necessary with the, the 20 boost he might have had. Okay, so that guy took my back corner boost, which is fine. I'm going to wait here and get the next touch. Just boom off the backboard. Make sure it's super high. Pop up nice and high backboard once again. Maybe my teammate can come in, make a challenge. He does. I'll beat my, the opponent here to this ball. It's 
pretty awkward. Good of my teammate not to a challenge though. There's way too many chances that the opponent will make it clear. Let's see what they do here. Good, good challenge. Good positioning. Right here, just gonna wait for the pop towards the net, and then we clear it. And I think he gave me way more power than I wanted to. And he owned gold. I think it was actually in. Did, did that was that a pinch? I don't even know. Yeah, it was. He kind of like, kind of like bought me into the right positioning. I was trying to hit that to the right wall, and then it ended up on goaling. It wasn't even on target yet, so bit of a bad play for, from Jdeck there. A little, a few, a few mistakes from Jdeck, but he's not doing too horrible for this rank. Right, clear. Oh, oh no, Jdeck. Oh, he's falling apart. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. So there, he could have, uh, he could have caught the ball. But ended up not timing it right and then kind of missed. That was a good win from us. That's a winner by forfeit. And I think we're jumping into the last game. We're at 9 out of 10, I believe. And we'll see where we end up off at the uh, end of this. Because I think we're around 900 MR. We are. So we're at 918. Or no, that's my teammate. Um, we're at 906. Uh, so we're just over in the 900s, which I believe might be just in the cusp of Diamond Diamond 1. As you can see, my teammate is still di uh, Platinum 3 at 918. So... We might make it into Diamond. We're not sure, though. We'll have to see the last game. So all the players in this lobby are in the 900s now. So this will be a, the hardest game we've had in the series so far. Out of the nearly 20 episodes. Let my teammates stay with the 50-50 here. Oh, and a great dunk, too. He didn't have to do anything. Dude, he's, he's, uh, he's definitely uh, making a case for his name being the Destroyer. Oh, my God. That's a good 50-50. Nightmare, just late 50-50. Um, you can see that if you go first... On the challenge, it ends up working less for you. Because the ball will bounce back into your teammate. Or the opponent. Oh gosh, I'm yawning. Ooh. Great shot. <laughs> and I don't know why, but that sounded like Great Scott from Back to the Future. I'm going to boost towards that to keep it going. I don't know why I'm in like a yawning fit right now. It's pretty bad though. Good challenge. Destroyer's going to stay with this ball. Pop this forward, try to get a good powerful touch. I do a quick flinch to uh, get near that ball, and then we make a good shot towards the target. So bad touch from the opponent off the backboard um, gives us possessions. So that touch right here pops at middle. And then we can finish off the shot. Dude, I just keep yawning. It's so bad. It's so bad. I usually record these just when I wake up, uh, which is probably part of it. <laughs> just because I like to, uh, you know, have a fresh mind when I wake, wake up and do an episode of the Road to Supersonic Legend series. It's a good clear. I'm going to make sure I move backwards. Might go for another shot. That's a great clear there too. To finish off the shot. Um, obviously, I could have just attacked that earlier. But this is once again high platinum. I don't think that people are reacting that quickly. And you know, I want to I want to reward uh, the opponents for having good pressure there and staying with the ball. I'm gonna stay with this. Make a force 50-50 if I can. Should go in the middle for my teammate. A great try. I'll pop it off backboard. I won't go towards target. See what the opponents do. That's not the greatest touch because it will spill out to mid for the opponents, but they both go here and I can just clear it down the field. You can see this is a much faster paced game than the other ones. Great finish. There we go. At this rank, moving into like low diamond, high platinum, you can see how these high backboard pops are just so dangerous um, at an angle. Instead of to war, like, I think it's a little bit easier um, for the opponents to read if you just go straight at it. But if you go at an angle like that. <sighs> oh, gosh. <laughs> a great tip, too. Oh, my God. I just keep yawning. But if you go at an angle, it's so much harder for the uh, the opponents to read when it's reading off the backboard like that. Um, but my, my teammate sitting in midfield can get a much better read. And this is a quick game here. We have four goals already. I don't know what defending means. Okay. <laughs> Flashbacks to the uh, placements are a mess match or a video. A okay, clear here. Just waiting by my teammate. So they threw the ball away a little bit. Nightmare kind of threw the ball away, but my teammate can take the ball to the corner or stay with it. It's a good choice there, but that's a bad touch. It's pretty dangerous. Well, I'll just challenge immediately. I made sure to cover my teammate once he made that bad touch. I don't want to just sit back on defense. It's going to be a shot here, though. So I'm not sure what happened with my teammate. I think he like went back corner. 
Oh, he got bumped out and then went for the corner boost. A little bit dangerous to commit to that corner once he gets bumped like that. You need to make sure you, you have your bearings straight and you cover all your options. All right, so we're waiting behind. There we go, good challenge. Okay, I'll go early and just make a touch, go off the backboard. Destroyer was off the side, but that's okay though. Have some time in the corner. Make sure to uh, pop that ball off the, the side wall so it pops towards it and I'll just get a flick off the backboard. It's a good clear. Dangerous for me to turn on that. I'm just going to make a fake first and then clear off the corner. I like that Nightmare didn't actually uh, commit. Also, it's McNightmare, by the way. <laughs> I like that he didn't commit because he's basically just trying to make me do something um, before uh, before I make the flick. And then he, he can recover faster. That's what I've been talking about a lot in the series. Right here, it's a little dangerous for the opponent to go to the corner or in the mid boost since I've got a shot on target. But I'll just pop this backwards for my teammate to clear it. Make a touch. See if we can stay with that. So I should go to the opponent first before me since it's rolling so fast away from me. So what I do is just wait for the next clear, the next play. And McNightmare once again didn't commit. He had demo on the opponents to keep me out of the game, but this could be a shot on target and he finishes it off. There we go. So I didn't really do anything there. I just got demoed. So great play by my teammate. Gets the demo on me, and then that pop middle actually gives it right to my uh, my teammate. So you want to be careful not to clear those middle. Okay, both of us go. That's fine. I did not mean to shoot that, but that works. <laughs> uh, that was a bit a bit too much there. A little bit too much sauce. I make a touch, and then I tried to like flip away, and then ended up shooting it towards. I tried to shoot that towards the corner, but it ended up popping off the front of my car, and uh, we ended up getting another goal. I mean, this game's pretty much a, walk, like a, a runaway at this point. The teammate has four goals. And we're pretty much closing off the last 26 seconds of this game. So, the most, I'd say the most uh, that I've noticed, the difference is that more players are ready for passes. <laughs> I have to say that my teammate bumps me into the net, but that's okay. Um, I say that most players are being a little more ready for passes, a little more patient with their touches. Um, so, if you want to be uh, contending with these kind of ranks, you need to make sure you're you're sitting in uh, in a position where you can cover your, your all your bases. And I'll wait for the last second to draw out. Just clear off the backboard. And there we go. Let's see where we end off at. We might make it into Diamond 1. We're not sure though. We'll see if any of the opponents in here are Diamond 1. But we're moving nicely up to the uh, you know middle of the ranks. And we didn't rank up in time. So we are at 920 and I'm not sure what... Uh, we're Division 4, so we're super close. So the, last, the next episode uh, near the end of the year should be moving us into Diamond, uh, Low Diamond here. So hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Um, you know, I'm really enjoying the series. I think that uh, the plan, since uh, you know you, a lot of the pros are making like a Road to Super Sonic Legend series, you can see how long it takes to get to Super Sonic Legend. So I think that what I'll do is I'll just keep continuing the series until we make it finally. And it might took, it might take like a season or two, but a slow, gl gl uh, gradual approach should be what we need to uh, you know give everybody the chance to find their rank in this series and just watch some of the episodes and see what they need to do to improve in that in that uh, you know in that rank. Um, but like I said, I'm kind of continuing this series at a pace of two to three days between each episode, uh, just to let you guys take what you learn and then try to apply it in your games. But I hope you guys enjoyed once again. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.